And this right here is proof. It doesn't matter if you know what bug it is or not. Look, this fly, I've caught so many fish on this fly at this river that is considered super challenging. And you know what? This fly doesn't look like anything. It doesn't look like anything at all. There's no insect here that looks like this fly. I'll show you. Look, 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 look. Come here, come here. Oh, sit my ass down. this tell me what does this look like it looks like nothing it looks like nothing you would find in nature right what do, what do they think it is who knows it doesn't matter they eat it caddis mayfly whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't matter just pick a fly and if it works keep fishing it if it stops working or doesn't work, pick a different fly. That's the entomology you need to know at the end of the day. Literally, that's it. Like at a most fundamental level, as far as what you need for comprehension, that's it. You know what I need right now? I need an elevator to get my fat ass off of this crown.
I've seen a few kind of splashy rises this morning. Not many, but a couple. Which makes me think they're eating a um, merger. So I'm going to fish this little caddis pattern. It's kind of a little fat. Looks like they got the wings coming out like caddis does. This is the profile the fish will see, which is, I think, the most important part. That's what they see from looking up. Looks like caddis. So I'm going to dress that with some silicone on the floatants. And then I'm going to fish this. This probably is a dry, but I'm going to fish it without treating it at all. Just in the surface film. Um, you know. So I'm not going to put any silicone on there at all. So it's going to sink at some point. It's smaller than I like to fish, but it's kind of the only unweighted fly I happen to have in my box. So this is the experiment. I've tried bigger dry, a heavier dropper. Oh, see that? <laughs> Love it when a plan comes together. Oh, that is not a plan coming together at all. If it brings you happiness, joy, satisfaction, whatever, if it deepens and enriches your fly fishing experience to know the scientific name of all these bugs, to be able to identify the different insect life, life cycle stages I'm in the tree, if it makes you happy, then learn it. Do a deep dive. Uh, there's lots of great resources out there both in print and online. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with gaining that knowledge and, you know, using it. I mean, if you try to flex on people with your scientific knowledge, insect life, you're kind of an asshole, but you're still perfectly legitimately approaching the pastime of fly fishing. Um, so do it, if that's something that makes you happy. If it doesn't, it stresses you out, you don't care, you don't want to know, never liked Latin, whatever, don't. It's, it's really that simple. It's absolutely not necessary, but for some people, it, it makes them happy. And I fully support doing what makes you happy if you're out here. I mean, none of us, very few of us anyway, are out here fly fishing to feed our families. This is not a life and death situation. This is something we do for fun. So if it makes it more fun, go for it. Doesn't make it more fun, reject it. Don't do it, do something else. That's my opinion anyway. <laughs>